EBSCOR, the Experimental Program to Stimulate Competitive Research, is a National Science Foundation grant program. The goal of EBSCOR is to strengthen science and engineering research and education throughout the United States and to enable states like Wyoming to be nationally competitive in these areas. EBSCOR aims to improve scientific infrastructure in Wyoming and build science, technology, engineering, and math research capacity across the state. One Way Wyoming EBSCOR helps strengthen science research and education is through student programs such as the Summer Research Apprentice Program, also known as SERAP. SERAP is an intensive six-week paid research experience for high school sophomores, juniors, and seniors aiming to attend college. It offers students a hands-on research opportunity in science labs across the University of Wyoming campus. Students work one-on-one -on -one with a faculty mentor throughout their time in the program. SERAP not only provides students with a paid internship and real research experience, but also helps prepare them for college life. So, I'd like to introduce Mr. Christopher Hoyt from Centennial, Colorado. Uh, he will be presenting Protein Dynamics of Tangle in Corn. Like Justin said, my name is Christopher Hoyt, and my project is the Cellular Dynamics of Tangled in Maze, also known as corn. I worked with Dr. Carolyn Rasmussen in the Department of Molecular Biology. So to give an overview of my entire talk, I will first be going over what is tangled, where the samples come from, how we can test the dynamics, what are the dynamics, and what the significance is. So, tangled is very involved with the process of cellular division, or mitosis. In cellular division, there are many steps, but the three steps that I particularly care about were prophase, metaphase, and telophase. In these stages of mitosis, there is a key player in the called microtubules. Microtubules provide the structure for the cell and also help with the movement of several key parts within. So during prophase, it forms a band around the cell known as the pre-prophase band. The pre-prophase band marks out the future division site of the cell. In metaphase, it creates the spindle, which helps to separate the duplicates of DNA. And in telophase, it helps to drive the cytokinetic machinery, or the primoplast, to the edges of the cell wall in order for it to divide. We can find tangled in two areas. We can find it in the nucleus, and we can find it in the band around it, also, also known as the division site. And what Tangle does is, at the division site, it helps signal to the cytokinetic machinery to tell it where to divide the cell. And because of this, Tangle is very important in division plane orientation. And division plane orientation is important because when it malfunctions, it can cause major problems, such as leading to the first steps of metastasis in cancer. And the current hypothesis is that Tangle is recruited to the division site during telophase. So in order to acquire samples, and because Tangle is part of the division process, we want a sample that has many rapidly dividing cells. So we get it from the very base of the plant. So, and from a plant that's about this tall, samples are usually about this high. So they're very tiny. And then we take those samples, and then we put them onto a microscope into this sample viewing area. And what we can do is that, tang is that with Tangle, we've also attached a special tag to it so that when we shoot a laser from the laser equipment at the sample of a particular frequency, what happens is that the tags get very excited. And then, in order to release that energy built up, it releases it in the form of light, which we then can detect using this and then interpret it as images. So one really nice thing about Tangled is because it also, we can also see it in the nucleus, we can actually tell which stage of the cell cycle it is currently in. And in addition, uh, the microscope views the samples in cross-sections. And because the division site is a ring, and when we take a cross-section of the ring, we actually get two dots, which is why when we view the division site, we don't see a line or a ring. Rather, we, we see two separate spots. And so, in order to test the dynamics of Tangle, we use the process called FRAP, which stands for Fluorescent Recovery After Photo Bleaching. And what FRAP does is it takes a region of fluorescence and takes an area within that region and 
removes the fluorescence in a process called photoaging. And then what we can do is then we can track the recovery of the fluorescence over time after the photoaging. And so what we can do is that we can actually measure the mean intensity of the bleaching region over time. And we get a graph that looks like this, where the y-axis is the fluorescence of the bleached region, and the x-axis is the time. So for the bleach, we actually see that the fluorescence is very uniform. There's no major changes to it. But when we bleach it, we remove a lot of the fluorescence. And then we actually see some amount of recovery. And this recovery can actually tell us a lot about the way that the protein works. So if the protein is very mobile, then the bleached proteins within the area can easily exchange with the non-bleached proteins outside of the area, which means that we can expect to see a very high recovery within the bleached region. However, the opposite is also true. If the protein is very immobile, there's no way for the bleached proteins to exchange with the non-bleached proteins, which means that once it's bleached, it pretty much flattens. So I used this graph experimentation on two main areas, the division site and the nucleus. For the nucleus, I did it in two different ways. I tested where I bleached the entire nucleus so that the only way that tangle could be regenerated is through nuclear imports. I also did bleached half of the nucleus so that could tell me how much of the protein is mobile or immobile. And I also used the frat experiment on the division site to test the prior hypothesis if tangle is brought to the division site during the telophase. And the reason why this can give us information on whether the hypothesis is true or not is that if we assume that if Tangled is brought to the division site during the telophase, then more proteins go to the division site, which means more tags and thus more fluorescence. So when we actually chart it, we expect to see that for the telophase, during the telophase with the division site, that there would be a high amount of recovery because it's being brought to the division site. And because Tangled is supposed to be a placeholder for the division site, is normally supposed to be very low in terms of mobility. So then I actually performed the experiments, and this was the data I received, where the y-axis is the average fraction of recovery, and the x-axis is the time. And what I found is that for all three stage, main stages of mitosis that I cared about, the amount of recovery, or the way that they all recovered, was pretty much the same. So when we compare this to what we expected, it's actually much different. Because unlike this graph, all these go hand in hand, which suggests that there's no extra tangle being brought to the division site compared to the other stages, which indicates that our prior hypothesis was wrong. In addition, we can also see that about 20% of tangled is mobile, whereas the other 80% is very immobile. So then I perform, so then I summarize all the data that took about 27 seconds and had about 20 images after the bleach, and then charted them on this graph, where the y-axis is the fraction of fluorescence we gain, and the x-axis is time. And what I found is that when we try to use a regular fit, it's not a very good fit, because the line is too high of an estimate at the very beginning, and too low of an estimate to do the very end. So I looked into the literature, and found that a better fit for the data was to use a two-part recovery curve, which is the divided dot line. And what a two-part recovery means is that Tangled is brought to the division site by two distinctly different processes. The first process takes place within about 10 seconds and regenerates about 13% of the fluorescence. The second process takes much longer than 27 seconds to complete. And then I did the graph experiments on nucleus. And what I found was that when we did the full nuclear recovery, which is supposed to measure nuclear import, it takes place within about 10 seconds and accounts for about 13% of a full recovery. And when you do the half nuclear recovery, which is supposed to test half percent mobility, that recovers within about 6 seconds and accounts for about 24% of a full recovery. And then when we compare the dynamics of Tangle at the division site versus when we do it just with the nucleus, we find that the dynamics are much different indicating that the way that Tangle behaves at the division site is different from the way it behaves at the nucleus. So the significance. This point, all this data points to three significant conclusions. One, 
Tangled is not actively recruited to the division site during teal phase only. Two, Tangled is brought to the band or the division site in two separate processes. And three, Tangled behaves differently between the nucleus and the division site. For my acknowledgments, I'd like to thank my mentor, Dr. Carolyn Rasmus, for being such a fantastic mentor. I'd also like to thank Dr. Professor Ann Sylvester, Peter Don, Cliff Towers, and Holly Sankraus for being such fantastic lab mates. I'd also like to thank Professor Zhao Jay Jay and also Professor Jay Gatlin because they were absolutely instrumental for me to be able to use the microscopes to do these experiments. And I would also like to thank the SRAP students and staff for making this experience so fantastic. I'd also like to thank the funding and support of SRAP, Planning Up Score, the National Science Foundation, and the National Institute of General Medical Science. Any questions? Yes? How many years have been since uh, Tangled protein has been identified and isolated? I'm not sure about that answer. Sorry. Yes? So how does your research apply to modern agriculture? Modern agriculture? Yeah. Can you make the connection? Yeah, that was just one thing I was wondering about. Uh, because the research of Tangled greatly affects the entire process of mitosis, it actually gives us more information about the entire cell cycle as a whole within the corn and thus other things.